Starting July 16, people in mental health crisis will have a new way to reach out for help. Instead of dialing the current 10-digit National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, they can simply call or text the numbers 988. Modeled after 911, the new 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is designed to be a memorable and quick number that connects people who are suicidal or in any other mental health crisis to a trained mental health professional. If you are willing to turn to someone in your moment of crisis, 988 will be the 988 won't be a busy signal, and 988 won't put you on hold. You will get help. The primary goal of the new number is to make it easier for people to call for help. But lawmakers and mental health advocates see this as an opportunity to transform the mental health care system and make behavioral health care easily accessible everywhere in the United States. Here is what you need to know about the new number and what to expect once it launches. Currently, the majority of people experiencing a mental health emergency end up dialing 911. The problem is that 911 wasn't set up to address mental health needs. Either callers end up in a frenetic emergency room, waiting for hours and sometimes days to get care, or they end up interacting with law enforcement, which can lead to tragedy or trauma. Mental health advocates hope that 988 will become a widely known, safer and more effective alternative. Unlike other medical emergencies, mental health crises overwhelmingly result in a law enforcement response, says psychologist Benjamin Miller, president of Wellbeing Trust. If you look at the data from the police, about 20% of their total staff time is spent responding and transporting individuals who are experiencing a mental health crisis. Just last year, he adds, more than 2 million people with serious mental illness were booked in jail. And nearly a quarter of Miles Hall was one of them. The 23-year-old was shot by the police during a mental health breakdown outside his home in California. Miles had schizoaffective disorder, says his mother, Ton Hall, who started the Miles Hall Foundation to push for mental health reform. But he was never violent, even when he was experiencing delusions or hallucinations, she adds, 